there are many people that want to make money online, but they're not clear on how they want to make money online. I can tell you from experience, once you become clear to what you want to do, how you want to make money, how you want to build your online income model, things will be easier in the regard of putting it all together. It's just one of the things that I've seen that many people are working on building a business, but there is no, there's nothing in terms of clarity. I'll give you an example. I see this all over the place, and there, there's many people that do what I call the hustle mode. And for a small period of time, I got caught up in that. And it's very hard to resist because the big thing is multiple streams of income. You know, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're, you're having all of these things going on. But the reality is the best way to make consistent money is to build something, get it worked out, get the income model hammered down and kill it. And then once that's up and running, then you begin to work on other income models. But that's not what most of us do. We go ahead and go crazy trying to put together all of these businesses and income models and just spin your wheels. Now, if you want to make money online, you got to be really, really clear of your market, who you want to serve. You have to be really clear on your offer, what, how it's going to benefit that market. And you have to be really clear on a lot of the things that go into building an online business, which is you're going to be working quite a bit. And there's, I know there's a lot of people just say, hey, no, you, you don't have to work that hard. It should be easy and it's really not. If you wanna be durable online, you wanna consistently make money, you want to build a business that survives all of the Google, Zoo, the penguins, the pandas, and all this other stuff, clarity will help clarity will really really help and that's something that I had to revisit because I'm no longer the storage auction guy and I'll be honest with you I intentionally didn't push that as hard as I could have because I didn't want to be forever labeled as the storage auction guy it took some time to shake it <laughs> and it's still taking a little work because people come on my page and like hey you know just checking with you how the storage auction things going buddy and they're like I don't do that anymore I haven't done that in like 10 years now so you've got that stuff going on and you have people who are looking at all of this stuff and they're like hey how can I get put on how can I make some money how can I be part of this online bonanza and, and you know what what's funny about that it is a bonanza and as more parts of the world become wired and more and more people have the ability to connect online it's just going to go bananas you're going to have someone and this is going to happen i hope it's me i'm working on it that someone's going to create an online product service whatever and they're going to leverage all of this tech that's out here and they're going to sell a billion dollars worth of product and i'm not talking about a corporation uh, I, I'm talking an individual, maybe a team of five or six people. They're gonna put their thing out there, and from finish to dollars, they're going to sell. What the hell is this? They're gonna sell their product, and it's just gonna be a direct -to consumer model, and it's gonna probably be music television you know media video media something like that first that's probably gonna be one of the first things then after that's probably gonna be fashion and it's just gonna happen and it's gonna be beautiful and it's gonna be awesome but whoever those people are that make it happen first they're gonna be really really clear 
on what they're doing, who they serve, and you know, with the leverage of the internet, will be able to go so much further than anyone else has gone before. And I think that is just going to be an amazing testament to what's happening as a digital citizen. If you're a person who wants to make money online, if you want to build your income model online, it's just there. But you, you got to be clear. You have to be so clear on what you're doing, why you're doing it, and all of the benefits because it's going to be a challenge and it's already challenging but it'll be more challenging if you don't have that stunning clarity of where you're going how you're going to get there i mean clarity i know people just like hey you know build your wings on the way down there's a lot of people that end up dead doing that i would say go ahead and work on your product and don't leap from such a uh, high vantage point think about what you can do right now where you are with what you have to get started and if you want to be a writer oh in that billion dollar thing it might be a writer write a book sell it to a billion people collect all of the money even if they sold it for a dollar still like 730 yeah 730 million dollars if they sold it for a dollar you know with uh, someone getting 30 percent this is gonna happen but the, it's gonna be really more imperative uh, the onus is gonna be on you to make it happen by being really really clear I forget uh, I didn't want to come this way really really clear with your offerings online so if you're not clear I'm gonna give you a litmus test to what I think you should be doing yes I'm telling you what I think you should be doing number one do not start an online business model just cuz someone else made money if you like it it's part of your it makes you horny gets your dick hard okay do that you know even if someone else did it but you know it's your thing so still do it whatever thing that you think about the most whatever you spend a lot of time on whether you're paid or not that's usually going to be your leverage point on how you can make a lot of money online depending upon what it is and depending upon how you angle it and work it because i did not expect the storage auction thing in terms of the ebook the courses the stuff to do what they did but I went at it like a maniac. I mean, I was putting up sometimes four or five videos a day. I was writing every day. There was all of these things that were going on. And for you to win in that space, you're gonna have to have that same kind of maniacal drive. Uh, you could build it very slowly. You know, for those who are like, hey, you know, I don't have to get there right now. You could take the bus, you know, build it consistently over some years and still arrive to that point. It's just going to take much longer. But you will not get the, the bounce that someone who dedicates themselves to it full time, which is, you know, at some point, you're going to have to make that decision. Are you going to do this full time or are you going to keep half stepping? And that's where some people are right now. They've got some business, it makes some money, but not enough for them to live that life. And you, you can't chase the dream and live the dream at the same time. You gotta chase it first so you can live it later. And many people are just kind of caught up on the ability, and this happens. Someone will go right now, someone will listen to this, be like, Lyndon is full of shit. I started my internet business 30 days ago and I made 80 grand. And then I would say to that individual, let's see where you are three years from now. Because typically people who make money that fast with no sound financial principles, it usually doesn't last. But just some thoughts. Now, if you want to up your internet game, 
a few things you should do. Like, subscribe, and comment. Also, go below and get my book, YouTube for Business. How to sell stuff with video. And it'll give you some solid principles that you can use not only with video, but in all of your online pursuits.